What I want to do today is connect our Todoist app to OpenAI and Google Calendar so that whenever a new event is added to our Google Calendar account, ChatGPT will create an outline of our schedule and upload it to our Todoist app. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Calendar to trigger a conversation in ChatGPT, I'll need to use Google Calendar as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Calendar sees an event has been created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Calendar, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the calendar you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in Todoist into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Task and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Todoist with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. Once that's complete, we can fill out our first action steps data. Under title, I'll click summary on the dropdown, and then under due date, I'll select event begins pretty and click continue. Click test action, and we can move on to our second action step. To start the next action, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen. Type in ChatGPT into the search bar and select it on the dropdown menu. Next, click conversation and click continue. From there, I could select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my other accounts. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under User Message, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, based off my schedule, how should I prioritize my tasks? And then I'll click HTML link under the dropdown and click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can move on to our last action step. OpenAI will create our schedule outline, but we'll need to make sure it appears on our Todoist app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen again and then type Todoist once more into the search bar, and then select it on the drop-down menu. Click Add Comment to Task and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we could start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Task, I'll select Review My Day and Plan Ahead, and then under Comment, I'll click Assistant Response Message under the drop-down and click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new event is added to our Google Calendar account, ChatGPT will create an outline of our schedule and upload it to our Todoist app. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.